Hi there, welcome back to Total IT's channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest Microsoft tips, tricks and updates. In today's video, we want to share with you Microsoft Teams latest and upcoming updates. We have a few exciting ones to get through, so let's get started on our first update. The new Speaker Coach. Speaker Coach provides private, personalised feedback on your speaking and presentation skills during meetings. These are in real time as you're presenting, pop-ups will come up to remind you, for example, slow down a bit. You also get post-meeting insights as well, so you can see where to improve for next time. This update will be with you soon as it's rolling out as we speak. Our second update is the new Cameo in PowerPoint Live. This will allow you to integrate your Teams camera feed into your PowerPoint presentation. You can customise where and how you want to appear on your slides. It also supports all types of personalisation properties, for example any other office object like morph, changing styles, shapes, etc. This is due to be with us in September. Our third update is pop out shared content. When attending Teams meetings, and if you have two screens, you will soon be able to pop the shared content such as screen sharing, PowerPoint Live, or whiteboard out to one screen. View the meeting window simultaneously on the other screen. Once this is available, you'll be able to pop out content from the meeting stage to make use of additional monitors and screens during meetings. This feature will only be supported on devices with medium to high-end hardware though, as Microsoft continues to fine-tune the experience, there may be more support in the future for other types of devices with less performant hardware. This update is due between August to late September. Our fourth update today is Viva Engage. Engage is the latest Viva app. Now this will be a new and enhanced experience of the current Yammer Communities app for Microsoft Teams. It brings new capabilities to connect people, find and share knowledge and express yourself. Viva Engage will continue to show the same network, home feed and communities as you see today in Yammer. Viva Engage will also continue respecting any custom rebranding done for the Communities app. This update is due late August to late September. Assigning seats in Together Mode is our fifth update for today. When a meeting organiser turns on Together Mode, they will see an option to assign seats to participants. Meeting organisers can assign seats to meeting invitees and all participants currently in the meeting by dragging the user to the preferred seat. Once assigned, an organiser can then apply the newly created layout and everyone in the meeting will see the participants organised by the seating assignment. This update is also due in September. Now our final update for today is new improvements for in-meeting notifications. Microsoft are releasing a more consistent design for notifications. These pop-ups will now appear to be stacked vertically and positioned in the top centre of the meeting stage. This is to improve the meeting experience by reducing distractions and making it easier to understand important information in a consistent and easy to read format. This will be rolling out from August to early September. As always, thank you for watching. We hope you are excited as us for the upcoming updates and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks and industry updates.